Hi, my name is Stefan Mischuk, Steph Mischuk, and welcome to Killer PHP's course on object oriented programming with PHP. This is a beginner's course where I assume that you know absolutely nothing about object oriented programming or object oriented PHP. All you need to know is your basics of PHP. You got to know what functions are and variables and so on. And if you have that, you're ready to move forward in this video course. Since PHP 5, PHP's object oriented capabilities basically got up to the level of the other major languages out there that are object oriented, things like Java, ActionScript, um, C Sharp, and so on. Uh, though it's been, uh, I guess, a couple years since it came out, I'm uh, doing this video in mid-2007, I still believe that today the, the majority of PHP coders are still doing things old school, meaning they're using the old functions-based, procedural, or event-driven type of PHP coding. They're not doing object-oriented programming. And I believe the reason for that is, well, there's a couple of major reasons. Number one, people don't like to learn new things often enough. Once they got something that works, why change it? And there's some val validity to that. And the second reason, which I think is the biggest reason, is because object-oriented programming is a, a very different way of programming. And it's, uh, it's harder to learn than the old the old PHP method, the procedural methods. So when something's harder to learn and you're, you're using something that seems to work for you, it, it, makes, it uh, makes it difficult for you to want to learn, uh, learn object-oriented PHP for those reasons. But I will suggest to you now that there are some very major compelling reasons to learn object-oriented programming in PHP. And I'm going to cover that uh, in the details in another quick little video. Uh, but take it from me in this, at this point that learning object-oriented programming is very, very, very important. And you'd be missing out on a heck of a lot if you don't do it. My approach to teaching object-oriented PHP is uh, really reflective of my overall practical and minimalistic personality. When it comes down to it, I'm going to spend a lot more time on practice and a lot less time on theory. So I'm going to introduce to you the minimal amount of theory necessary so that we can actually do something. By the end of the course, you'll feel comfortable using object-oriented techniques in PHP and you'll be able to create objects and base your projects on an object-oriented infrastructure. It, uh, you won't, we won't be covering everything in this course. This is more or less a crash course on the subject, but you will have the, f the important fundamentals uh, under your belt, if you will, such that uh, the more complex and advanced uh, things within object-oriented programming will be much, much easier for you to approach. 